Hey you guys, Killing A6 AK Rain, welcome guys. Well, I've seen this trend right now, everybody's been buying Pokemon cards and actually sharing Pokemon cards. I mean, there's something that you guys need to know about me. I collect a lot of stuff. I had some books. I have some Digimon cards. I'm sure you guys don't know that one. I'll get to that one later. But look, I have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I even have Marvel and DC cards. But the one I like to talk about is this one. Since everyone's trained about Pokemon cards, I think it's time for me to show you my collection. Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to talk to you guys about my Pokemon card collection here. Now, there's one thing you need to know about me. Uh, when I, I've collected Pokemon cards ever since I was uh, 11 and 12 years old. Now, believe it or not, guys, the, game came, the show came out in 1996, and the trading card game came out, I believe, in 97 or 98, either one of those. When I was in 6th grade, uh, when I went to middle school, a lot of people actually had Pokemon cards. And believe it or not, guys, I stole some when I was a kid. That was a long time ago. Now, picture this. Picture this. Uh, picture this is the table. And the cards are right here. As they were playing, I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. That's really amazing. And I just went like this, and I ran. So, I stole some cards. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, I have. I feel bad about it, but you know what? If I had done that, I don't think I would have been able to collect all the cards that I had. Well, let's get started. Now, now I want you guys to know one thing. The one thing about me, Pokemon cards are everything to me. I always keep them in, this, in these little things right here. Now, I want you to understand about what I got here. And now... As you can see, I got the starters here. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, and Wartortle. I'm sure you're noticing that these are gone. I have, them in, I have them in these little card holders. And believe it or not, guys, hollows are really rare and they're really hard to come by. And as you can see, look. Take a look. Take a look at this. Hard to believe, huh, guys? I still got my cards. Now, I want you to bear in mind, some of the cards that I have here... As you can see right down there, I got a hollow Clef uh, fairy down here. And I have a star vial plume uh, right on my right pinky right here. Now, I want you guys to understand one thing about these cards. When I collect cards, I put them in number order, which is like from the Pokedex and everything. And every card I have you seen here, see? From Rhyhorn here, I got Johto, I got Hoenn, I got a lot of different cards here. I mean, take a look. I mean, you guys gotta understand. Take a look at this. Yes, I have collected a lot of cards. Most of them are my brother's cards, but they didn't want to collect them anymore, so I decided to keep them. So, so most of these are mine, and most of them, most of it are theirs. Now, I want you guys to understand one thing. These Pokemon cards came in three, uh, for Generation One. They came in three different packs. One is the traditional. The second is uh, Forest. Forest is where you see like forest Pokemon, like bug Pokemon, like this, and like uh, Eevee with you know with uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, and everything else. And the other one is fossils, where you we get like fossil Pokemon. As you can see, look at that. I have all different types, and I got I have to say, but the one thing that made it really uh, crazy is this one right over here, the uh, Johto po po ones. Now, guys, these new Pokemon cards came in different uh, different ways. And the reason why I say that is, take a look. As you see, there's Chikorita right there. But you notice that on the top, there's two different types of bay leaves. Now, there's, actu there's actually uh, two sets of different uh, card de de designs for bay leaf and for Cyndaquil, for Quilava, for Quilava and Totodile, and, and Croconaw. So I have collected all different types, and you're going to see those soon. So most of these are common. Some of these are stars. Now the reason why I say stars, guys, stars is the best, is the highest variety, highest rarity in all Pokemon cards. And after that, there's here's that's Hoenn, and there's Sinnoh. Now, if you guys are wondering, am I still collecting cards? I do, but one thing you guys got to understand is that these these cards here, my mom, uh, my mom actually found at a garage sale a long white box of Pokemon cards. And I was help. I helped her out, and I, I and I told her, and she had like all stars. Most of the card, most of the cards were in these. I was like, let me see those. I said, Mom, these are rare. These are rare cards. 
I'm 34, and yes, I'm a 34-year-old still having Pokemon cards here. But who knows, guys? These are actually going to be worth something. But now, the time has come for you guys to see this. Now, guys, now these are actually all my hollows that I kept in this little thing right here. So, without further ado, guys, I'm going to show you guys all, all of these. All of these. Now, believe it or not, guys, this is a big bundle here. So, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that. So, as you can see, I got Togekiss. That's the evolved form. That's the third evolved form of Togepi. And here is Leafeon. Leafeon is the next of all form for Eevee. As you guys know, Eevee evolves different times and different ways. And let me tell you, it's crazy how that goes. So I got, see, I got Yanmega. I got Giratina right here. Now, like I said before, most of these cards are actually star. These are actually star ones. Now, believe it or not, the reason why I say that is because, the, like I said, Stars are rarity, they're the highest rarity of every, any cards. Now, this is a holographic beadroll from a different generation. And I gotta tell you guys, this is really amazing how it looks. See? I got Electivire, which is the second of all form of, of, uh, of Electabuzz, and Novern, everybody. These are, like I said, like, these are star Pokemons cards, and they're really rare. Most of them range from $5 to $10, but like as you've seen, from the videos, Charizard is actually the highest and most very rare card of all time. And let me tell you, with cards like that, you have to understand, cards like that are very rare and they're really hard to get. And and also, because they're worth a lot of money, that makes it a lot. See? See right there? We got Love Disc and this guy right here. Makes it so good. Oh, this one's my favorite. Talonflame. Which is a very rare type card right here. It looks so good and everything. And now, now the one like I remember I told you guys about uh, Totodile, Chikorita, and Bayleaf, and how they look so different. Now I'm going to give you an idea. Now, here it is. This one is Typhlosion. This one is the the second uh, the second pack, which is the newer one for Johto Pokemon, which is the second generation. Now this is the first gen first the first actual look of Typhlosion. And now this is the actual second design of Typhlosion. Now, believe it or not, guys, the, that is really rare to see different designs of cards. And yes, I got them. But for you guys to understand why I got these cards, how I got them, when I was a kid, every flea market we go, we always begged my mom and dad to buy some Pokemon cards. Anywhere we go, anywhere. And we even, we even uh, convinced my uncle to buy some for us. And let me tell you, he did. He bought a lot for us. And that was really funny. See, we got Venomoth here. As you can see, see the background? Hollow right there. And here's Wigglytuff. That's a hollow too. And we got I have Tyranitar. And also Entei. That's a hollow too. You can tell by the design on the background. Now, yeah, most of these are very... I have doubles of these. There's Politoed. And an unknown, which is the letter A. Now, here's an, here's what I mean by other designs. Here's the Meganium, Chikorita's third of all form. And here's the second design of Meganium right there. Very, very rare. And just like Jesse right here, guys, I got a Zapdos too. And I also got a Dragonite. It's very cool. And I got Murkrow and a Sneasel. Now, guys, these are star cards. You can, uh, if you, like, I'm going to give you an example if you look at the very bottom of the cards right here, there's a little thing right here that has a shape right there. And it's usually it's a star. You can't see the star very clearly. Yeah, my camera's not out of focus. Getting out of focus. Come on, dude. There we go. It's a star. I can't show you, damn. It's very interesting how these cards go. Now we got... I have a Donphant and... And Ursaring. Look at that. I mean, see? Hitmonlee, same as Jesse and Pinsir. And here it is. Charizard. Now, I want you to take a look at this symbol right over here. This is the second gener this is the second anniversary of the Pokemon cards, which is like a I would say a tenth anniversary. 
This is uh, uh, Generation 2. Now, they, this is like the first generation cards that they put out, which is like Charizard here. But this is the second one where it's a it, you get different cards from Generation, uh, from tradi Tradition, Jungle, and Fossil. All three wrapped in the one. And I also got Venusaur. Now, this one, as you can see, there's no symbol here. So this is the very first uh, design of Venusaur from the first generation. And I got an Electrode right here. And I have to say, I like that. Now... Come to think of it, that Beedrill I have, I don't have a spot. I, I have a spot for that. So I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> I always got to make sure that I have my cards inside so they'll be safe. Because, uh, like I said before, guys, it's about the rarity of the cards. And let me tell you, prices go up and big bucks will be there, guys. I have to show you. Now, see, I got a Kabutops right here. And now I got a uh, Flareon, which is a hollow. Now I keep the ones that are not hollow in the in my binder. Makes it a lot easier so I can know which one to get. Here's Yanma. And here's Jump Pluff. Very much, very well. And I got an Espeon and an Umbreon. Now this one's my favorite. I mean, look at Umbreon. His rings are glowing and he's right by the moon. And I got a Azumarill and a holographic polytoad, which I'm sure you guys seen by the binder. Look, I got that. Now, see, I got Victory Bell right here, and I'm a champ, which you can find in the starter pack. Well, there's a, there's also a starter deck where you can get your own Pokemon cards, and my champ will be the very first one you'll get. And look at that. There's Ho Oh, <laughs> whoop, dig it, and Lugia. Now, what's good about this, guys? See right over here. This this says uh, first edition. And that's a very that's that's a very rare thing if you find a first edition card. Now, one thing about packs, if you look at the packs that when you uh, open them, it'll say first edition. So every first edition, every card that's in the in this thing is actually first edition, which is very very good. So you can't beat that. And here's Mew, which is a promo card from the Mewtwo uh, from Pokemon the first movie. And here's Articuno right here. I mean, look at that Snorlax. I have Aerodactyl. See that? Ditto. And a Vaporeon. Now, guys, I got a lot. I'm, I hope you guys understand that. Here's Mewtwo. And here's Feraligator, which is the other design for that. I, I don't have that one. See? Here's Chansey, which you get in the starter pack. And here's Hitmonchan. Now, now the reason why I'm, do, I'm putting them over here is because I don't have tape, so I don't want dust to go in there. Make it easy. Here's a Clefable. A, Clef a Clefa, actually. A first edition Clefa, which is the baby form of Clefairy, and a Dragonair. And that's very interesting. Now, yeah, some of these don't have packs. Like, uh, some of them don't have, like, like um, rarity and everything else. Like this one, for example. Clef uh, Clef Celebi. This one's very good. And Butterfree. Yes, I, don't, I put the cards... I don't. I always put the non-hollows with me, because if I only find one, I'll be able to... Keep it with me just in case if I do. So it makes it easy. See, here's Blastoise right here. And here's Pidgeot. And I gotta tell you, I love every minute of it. Here's Elekid. And also, Suicune. I, having these cards, guys, are is like a dream come true for me. Because you, uh, it, these cards are everything to me. Here's an Unknown. And here's Mistrevis. I've had these cards since I was a kid, and I would never, tra I wouldn't trade them for the world. Clefable and a Nine Tails. You'd be surprised. These cards are very high in rarity, and my brother usually kills me every time. It's mad at me every time I find a hollow when I open my cards. Whew. It's very crazy. Now, see, here's Hound Doom, and here's another promo card which came with the movie, an Electabuzz. See with the promo on the side right there. And see, here's Scizor. And here's my favorite, Steelix. <laughs> That's my favorite. Now most of these cards are diff are most of these cards are actually from uh, the new generation. Now I'm sure I'm sure you want to see the new the older ones. The older ones are way better, to be fair, because you can't beat the classics, guys. I mean, look at this, Gyarados, and. Lapras. Now, the, the, these cards are everything. I mean, these are the coolest cards I can ever show you. Here's Magby, and here's Smeargle. 
<laughs> I'm still waiting for Snogre to come on the Pokemon Go thing, I gotta tell you. I mean, look. Kangaskhan. And here's Scyther. You'd be surprised, guys. These cards are a lot. Alakazam and a Poliwrath. Now, it's, I think the best way to get the, rarity, the, the highest rarity of all cards is by getting the hollows that are in the very first packs. Now, I, w I go to these Comic-Cons a lot, guys. I'm sure you guys see that. Do you want to know how much, how much they sell a pack of these original cards? Around 20 bucks. And let me tell you, it's it depends on what's in the cards. I mean, that's the thing you gotta, always got to look for. Here's a Haunter. And here's Magneton. I love these. I haven't seen these cards in a while. See? Wobbuffet and a Fortress. These are cool. I mean, see, I have a non... Oh, I just noticed that. I have a hollow and I have a non-hollow. Hmm. I'll keep this in here anyway. That and a different design of Espeon. Very much. Now, look at this. I got a first edition Enferos and a first edition Bellossom. <sighs> Crazy, huh? And here's Toga Togatik. And here's a first edition hollow of Pichu. And I'm surprised. Yeah, these most of these are different designs. I mean, look at that. Nido Queen and Nido King. It's good that I put the king and queen together. <laughs> uh, a different design of Houndoom. And here's Kingdra. And a first edition Hollow. Very interesting. See? And I got Hitmon Top. And Porygon 2. And, uh, oh, see that? A, a, another non-Hollow. And a non-hollow Snorlax. And, see, I got a Beedra Hill here. And I also have a non-hollow uh, of Scizor. And last but not least, this one's my favorite, Heracross. Heracross and Skarmory, hollow, first edition. Now, fun fact about this card, about Skarmory. Now, the reason why I say this is a, fun, a funny story. Uh, when I was a kid, we, me, and my fam me, my brothers, and my mom went to Target. And we were looking at the toys, and Skarmory, someone opened a pack of cards and hid it in the back of some toys. And I found the cards, and I found out there was a shi there was a shiny uh, there was a hollow Skarmory, and I took it. And my mom looked at me, and my mom when we got into the car, I took out the cards. I was looking at them. My mom looked at me, is like, "Son, where'd you get those?" I said, oh, mom, I found them uh, behind uh, some toys. Somebody opened them. He lo she looked at me and said, son, you just stole those cards. Is but, but they were opened. Is I know they're open, son. But still, the fact of the matter is you stole. He's like, it's, you know what? Just, learn, just don't do that again. Let's just go home. So we just drove home. She allowed me to keep, these, keep that card. <laughs> You'd be surprised, guys. Now... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that uh, I've had a lot of these hollow cards. I'm sure I've noticed that in the, now everyone's looking at Pokemon cards now, which that's really crazy because I grew up watch, grew up on these cards. So if you guys like to see more, I have. I'm sure you guys have heard of Digimon. I actually have Digimon cards, and I, maybe you guys would like to see that, but I doubt it. But if you ever get a chance, uh, hit me up on the comments. Um, how about this? Maybe. How about, about uh, 10,000 likes? Hopefully, I, I, I'm sure I can get it up there, I hope. Maybe if this trend will go. 10,000 likes, I'll show you my uh, Digimon training cards. Okay? That, hey, these are classic cards, and I love them so much. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction with gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. I hope you'll love it, and thank you guys for watching, and stay positive, guys.